Natasha. Debbie. Show. The show. <laughs> Welcome to it. <laughs> Just two patriotic girls. Learning about the world. So please, don't take us the wrong way. Hello, Sweden. Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. We're going to eat you today, Sweden. <laughs> That's a good one. We are going to try your wonderful food, the snacks that we could get a hold of. And this happens to be like one our, of our favorite videos one to of our, do. It's our favorite video. We love tasting different countries' foods. <laughs> we'll stop the different countries. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we do. It's so much fun. And um, we're going to show you the stuff we have in a moment tell you how we do this if you've never seen one of our food tasting videos before but before we do that debbie's got something to tell you please hit that like button and consider subscribing to our channel now how do we rate stuff how do we do this so we put it on a scale of 10 being the best one being the worst one, one is like worst. i don't ever want to eat that again mm -hmm. but 10 is please get in my belly and stay there exactly mm -hmm. now we are take this stuff very seriously we do not want to stroke egos and give high ratings of things just because we want you to like us. We're going to be honest with you. Yeah, if we don't like it, we don't like it. Yeah. And if we love it, look out. Yeah, we're not going to fake our reactions. So if we don't like something, please don't get offended. Everybody's taste buds are different, right? Exactly. You may hate something that I love. She hates lots of things that I love and mm -hmm. vice versa. It's just how it works. And then on top of that, we love to cleanse our palates in between things we eat. I'm going with the Fiji water today. I've got crystal geyser water. Alrighty, all the things you're gonna see here in this <coughs> video and in all of our food tasting videos come from our local store, Jungle Gems International Food Market here in Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. And again, it has food for from 75 different countries. That's right. And we've gone back a couple times to get as many snacks as we could from Sweden. Yeah, because every time you go, they might have something different in there. So. Let us know in the comments if some of this stuff is stuff that you eat on a daily basis, stuff you hate, stuff mm -hmm. you like, and which of these are your favorite, in fact. So. Without any further ado, should we show them what we have or no? Yeah, let's show them. I think we usually do. Okay, we'll show you what we have. The first thing we have are ballerina. I've never eaten a ballerina. <laughs> Hopefully these are good. They look like they will be. Put in my mouth today. Now I have on my side these things, which thank you for the English on the back, ginger snaps. <laughs> now, yes, I've had a week, but these have almond flavor. Those look very good. I've never had an almond flavored ginger snap. So I'm excited about these guys. And then we have uh, these. <laughs> Can I say Gould Marie? You're trying it. Good Some job. sort of biscuit. It's got sugar in it. What else you got over there? Okay, I know this is not how you pronounce this, <laughs> <laughs> but it's how I'm pronouncing it for now because our friends in the UK have this too, apparently. We don't have it in America, except for at Ikea, and also Jungle Gems International mm -hmm. Food Market. I'm calling it DAM! 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 <laughs> Pretty sure it's dime, right? It's dime, from what we've been told. Um, but DAM sounds funner. That looks yeah. interesting, I can't wait to try that I one. don't want to try this. I'm scared of this, because <laughs> everyone's told me I'm going to break a tooth. We also <laughs> have crisp rolls. These are the golden wheat. These look very good. <laughs> and we have things to try on this now, so hold on. I also have on my side, Kex. Because, because I have it. Which we were told it looks just from, like kind of like a Kit Kat, but mm -hmm. still excited about it. Marabou bar. Mar well, Marabou, huh? I'm going with Milk that one. Milk chocolate bar. We're we can try that. can tell a lot about a country by their chocolate. You sure can. I want to call no. it Knickerbocker, but that's wrong. <laughs> Knackerbrod? Knackerbrood? Knacker I have no idea. This uh, crisp bread. Swedish crisp bread. So this is monstrously big. It is very big. And then... <laughs> and then we found this um, Swedish candy mix. And it has a couple of the bars that we already have in here, but it has some other bars that we didn't see uh, on hey. our own. So that's why we went ahead and bought the box so we can try all the different stuff inside. And we also, in the last video we did on Sweden, mm -hmm. we asked you, this popped up, if we should try this or not. Because Debbie does not want to try it. <laughs> Don't lie. I I'm not sure about it. <laughs> well, I'm not sure either, but good log. Now, um, some of you may not know, especially if you're new to our channel, um, and I'm, I'm proud to say this, um, I'm a recovering alcoholic. 
Mm-hmm. And on December 1st of this year, 2023, I will be celebrating 19, 19. years of sobriety. So this is non-alcoholic. And I could hear some people going, oh, don't, don't drink it or don't try mm-hmm. it. It's the only way we're going to try it. I ain't trying it no other way. So this is non-alcoholic glog. Um, and this is, it says, I think it's Grandpa Lundquist. That's the brand, I believe. Um, traditional Scandinavian winter bre- beverage. And then it does say that it is a product of Sweden. So, uh. Hopefully that's the right one. And we do know that it's supposed to be served warm. With? with almonds and raisins. Raisins. So, so we're going to try that. <laughs> we'll heat that up and then we'll, we'll try it warm. Yes, yeah, so we'll try that in a little bit. I'm looking forward to try more than anything mm-hmm. else. Me too. Uh, are you really? Oh, yeah. Cloudberry. What is a cloudberry? I don't know, but I looked it up and apparently they do grow here in America in like New Hampshire and Alaska. Talk about two separate, very different places. Well, it makes sense, yeah. Um, But, and we know that you guys eat this in um, like Norway and other places as well too, but. This Sounds is lovely. Very expensive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and for what I read online, it's expensive for you too. But yeah, this was a lot of money, but I'm excited. And we have some vanilla ice cream to try this with. As well as, we're going to try it on some of the crisp bread, I think. And then what else are we going to try it on? Was that it? I thought we were going to try it on that crisp bread, maybe with some cream. Might just, if I like it, might just try it if I like that. I don't know. But I'm excited about I this. I try it all the ways. That's the one I'm the most excited <laughs> about. So, we have butter. No, we don't have American butter. We got the Irish butter. We got the Kerrygold. We found some actual Swedish cheese from mm-hmm. our awesome international market. So, Swedish Fontina. Is that how you pronounce it? Yes. Um, and I know this is more of like a melted cheese type of thing, mm-hmm. but we thought, you know what? It should be fine on like a, a bread, a cracker type yeah. thing. So we're gonna try that. But then we also decided, hey, Norway, we still love you. And we saw this, Debbie found this one. Um, I'm gonna call it snow frisk. Fresh, spreadable cheese. And it's a little bit, it seems like a little bit of goat cheese mix. Mm, like a cream cheese. I think it's better than a cream cheese. Goat, goat, goat cream like cheese. A, yeah, so we're gonna try that as well <clears throat> on the stuff. And, um, that's what we have. So I'm excited. I hope you're excited. And if you're excited, please again, hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. And I don't want to wait anymore. So. I know, let's dig in. What do you want to try first? Um, Let's go with one of the chocolates. We got enough chocolate she, here. She always does it. So we're going to go with this one first. Can we get the sweet stuff? Okay. Yes. I'm excited. Broke off a little bit too much. There's Norm. such thing as too much chocolate. <laughs> Well, with all the chocolate we have to try. Nice little square. Got a little M on it. So this is the, Ready? again, so you know, this guy. On three? Yep. One, two, three. <laughs> mm. That's nice and creamy. I like the thickness of it. Mm-hmm. It's really good. I like it. It's like licking my tongue. Mm-hmm. That's good. So, you want to rate it? That's really good. It is. It's very smooth. I really like the Norwegian chocolate, too. Mm-hmm. It um, doesn't have a funny aftertaste, which is great. <laughs> Sometimes there is weird aftertaste. I already know what your rating's going to be, but go ahead. I'm going to go with an eight. Okay. That's weird to I the really point. Like it. I was going with an eight, too. Um, I really do like it. We're gonna fight over this bar. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna melt this and put it on stuff. Mm hmm. And maybe we will. Mm. I'm gonna grate this on top of some vanilla ice. Mm. Oh, sorry. Maybe. Yeah, it's a solid eight for sure. Eight and eight. That's a good one. Just putting it on her side. Your turn to pick. That's tough. I don't wanna eat all the chocolate at once. But. I think we need to do all the biscuits when we have the coffee out, so mm-hmm. the coffee doesn't get cold. I believe I wanted to. I wanted to start with this one, so we're going with the kex. I'm sure that's probably not the right way to pronounce it. Sounds pretty good. So I think it is very much like a uh, that thing, Kit Kat. Kit Kat. <laughs> like what's that word? Oh, these are not what I expected at all. I just oh, destroyed bigger. that label. Mm. Huh. You want to split one? Yes, oh, they're please. harder than I thought. Okay. You could Tim Tam slam this. Probably could. Defer back to our first Australian <laughs> food snack uh, video. I'm sure we will try to Tim Tam slam oh, it's... a few things. <laughs> Give you the bigger piece. 
Debbie's more of the sweet tooth person. I am. Cheers. Cheers. One, two, three. Kicks. Oh, that's a lot. Hmm. Way better than a Kit Kat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Way better than a Kit Kat. It's another eight. Actually, I might just growing on me at eight and a half. Okay, is it wrong of me that I like this better than this? Hmm. I like the other one better. Not that I don't like this one. This one's good too. I find this less sweet. Because mm -hmm. I'm not a huge sweet tooth person person because of the wafer. Mm -hmm. But I'll, the wafer's thicker than I expected it to be. Definitely thicker than a Kit Kat. It is. It seems like the, the, definitely the chocolate and mm. the other one is much sweeter. But this one, it, I mean, it's nice and smooth if you want something just a little sweet. You really want sweet. That's yours, this one. All right, deal. <laughs> I really like this. I'll, but I'll say an eight on that one too. I'm going to nine now. No. You're going nine? Yeah, because the wafer's kicking in more. Mm hmm. And there's still some chocolate. You could totally Tim Tam slam this in the coffee. You definitely can. I can't That's wait. good. We're going to try it, I'm sure. I like it. So, this is what I want to try next is the crisp rolls. I'm in agreement with this 110%. <laughs> Let's try that. Let's try this. This looks like this would work for this. Okay. For your piece. And I would think too that you could put a lot of different possibly, things. maybe I'm wrong, do the cream cheese and then a little bit of the cloudberry on there. But let's taste it, this and then we'll see what the cloudberry even tastes like because I don't even know what it tastes like. I don't even know what to expect from it. I don't know what cloudberry is. All right, here we go. This is the Chris Bowl's Golden Wheat. Mmm. Some jam on that would be great. Mm hmm I like that with the... Mm-hmm. That stuff. And that's... That um, cheese is very nice. Okay, so without anything other than just this on it, that's a solid seven for me. Because I like the crisp of it, the crispiness. Mm -hmm. The crunch is what I'm trying to say. And um, that little bit of golden wheat flavor, you can taste it. Yeah. It's good. And yeah, I want to try that with like cheddar and all kinds of different cheeses and like even jams and stuff. Like I think mm -hmm. I would like that for a lot of reasons. Yeah, I want to try it all the different ways. Olive oil? I really, really did like that. I liked the smoothness. The wheat of it was very nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like hard and crunchy. You know, hard wheat. Couldn't you do that with olive oil and like with pasta and stuff too? No, I Because I think could. that would be really good. I'm sure you could. Damn! <laughs> it's time. I don't want to. I'm scared. I don't know what it's gonna taste like, but I think it's gonna break a tooth. I've been waiting for this one because we've seen it all the time yeah. at Ikea and at Jungle Gym. I didn't see Every it. I, we gone. actually went to Ikea today. Mm -hmm. First time I even noticed it there. I never really pay attention to the stuff in the aisle at the end. No, you don't pay attention to the snacks. This is my bite. Oh, that's some hard caramel inside of that. For those who don't know. I'm still gonna go with a smaller mm. piece than even that. Like okay. coffee? Can't wait to try it. Okay, let's go. You're not asking my teeth. Oh! Mm hmm. Heath bar. Mm hmm. When I opened that and looked at it, I'm like, hmm, looks familiar. Mm. You guys have Heath bars? Because that's what this tastes like? Mm hmm. Same mm -hmm. hardness? Mm. I'm doing what I always do with the Heath bar. Suck all the chocolate off, mm -hmm. leave the hard yep. stuff, and just kind of like hang out with it. Or there was another candy bar called the Score Bar. S K O R. Oh, yeah. Score Bar. I never had that one. So, it was pretty much a Heath bar. Just like this, too. Mm. This is really good. It's a little bit smoother than what ours tastes like, so mm -hmm. straight up 10. One, six, five and a half. Don't say, damn, it's a 10. No, do it right. Damn! Damn! Dime. That's a 10. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Love it. What did I just say? Five and a half? Yeah. Just because it tastes a lot like a Heath bar and it's not something very new to me. No. Well, six and a half. I do like it a lot mm -hmm. more than I thought I did. I love it. 10. That is not what I expected it to be. Not what I expected. I don't know what I expected. But I'll still stick with mine. <laughs> Damn. Damn.
Okay, so next we're gonna open this guy up and we're gonna see what's in here that we don't, well, a lot that we don't have. We're gonna do up most of the chocolate now because I wanna make the coffee and keep it hot for when we try yeah. the biscuits. And we wanna try the biscuits by themselves and in the coffee and we don't drink tea, mm -hmm. so. We have, well, this looks, <gasps> this looks awesome. Sandwich. Mm. And it looks like a little ice cream sandwich. What? What is this? Hold the, hold the press. Let's inspect this. Little, it's got a little ice cream sandwich picture. I'm about to just say, screw you, Debbie. You can just throw up my mouth. <laughs> You're gonna find another one. There's plenty. So here's one for you. There's a lot of the dime bars in there. They're so cute, they're little. They're little. <clears throat> I don't know that there's much in there that we don't have, actually. I'm going for it. Let's I'm excited it. about this. I don't know what it is. Sandwich original. Again, let us know if this is stuff. <gasps> it's adorable already. Is this something that you guys that It's like a mini ice cream. It does kind of look like an ice cream sandwich. It's got the little holes in If it. this tastes like that. <laughs> she might be in love. Go. Oh my God. I'm confused now. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love the look. I love the name. I don't know that I like the taste. It's very soft, like an ice cream sandwich. Mm -hmm. It was a weird aftertaste. Yeah, getting that? Yeah, I'm taking it in. Mm -mm. Oh, I'm disappointed. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like it. It's, it's not as I expected it to be by the looks of it. Um, not that it's bad. Hold on now. I know, you, after a minute, you get more of that chocolate flavor coming in. Like the chocolate of the ice cream sandwich. I was actually thinking the opposite. I'm getting mm. more of the cream. Oh, I'm getting more of the, um... <laughs> See, different taste buds. Chocolate biscuit. It's not overly sugary, which is good. I was no, afraid. and I like that part of it. it but gonna be way there is an aftertaste that I don't like. I don't know if it's mm. an artificial sweetener. And if it is, I'm gonna not like anything with artificial sweeteners, but... I gotta go with a three, and I'm sorry. I wanted to love this because it's so cute, and it I love the name, cute. and I love that it looks like an ice cream uh -huh. sandwich. But I'm gonna go five. I could take it or I could leave it. Kind of in between. Ah, plenty for later. <laughs> Keep those on my side. This one for you. Thank you. No, this is not how you say it. Not cream. <laughs> Original. <clears throat> this feels like not a cream. gel. Mm. I think not cream is actually cream. Uh oh. What is this? Maybe it's. What are we eating? Maybe it's like a peanut butter, like a Nutella type of thing. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't be putting this straight in our mouths. We don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna open it and find You're out. You're not here to tell us. <laughs> well, it says hazelnut. Oh, it's a spread. Oh. The hell of it. What are we gonna spread it on? My mouth. <laughs> What Whoa. Would you Let us know. Mm -mm. I'm in love. Give me that. You don't need to taste uh, it. You'll hate it. It's horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> Let us know what you would put this, spread this on. If you do. Your mouth. You don't need anything else. I don't care Maybe what you don't. say in the comments. Maybe you don't. I don't care. There's like a peanut butter flavor almost to that. Is that a hazelnut? <laughs> Sorry. It's chocolate, hazelnutty, peanut buttery. There's no peanut butter. Hmm. It is hazelnuts and peanuts. I've never had hazelnuts, peanuts, and chocolate in the same thing, and I think mm -hmm. I'm now in love. Not cream. All I have to say is this. Damn! <laughs> Sorry. This is a 10. 10, really? Oh, come on, you don't wow. agree? You don't agree. We're so different. It's not my favorite. No. I don't care for Nutella that much because it doesn't taste hazelnutty to me. This does. <laughs> I wonder if you could put that in a glass of milk. I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if it were on something, I would like it. Okay. Not that. But uh, by itself. Try it on a crisp roll. <laughs> no. Piece of toast? <laughs> toast, maybe. I'm happy toast made. How do you not like that? It's, I don't know. It's something, I guess it's probably more texture. Oh, I love, I, I love know. it. Ten. Yeah, I'm gonna go three. 
I know. <laughs> we gotta talk about the name of this bear. <laughs> Palop. Is this popular? Is this something you guys actually? I'm trying to find the other one to give to you. Hopefully there's two. Wouldn't that be? What if there's only one? I think there is only one. Well, I guess we'll have to share nope, it. No, nope, no, nope, I think so. I think we're good. <laughs> you got the tongue out like, okay. <laughs> it's like going on your Christmas stocking. Okay, plop on over to you. You want to share the plop in case you like I it? I am not sharing your plop with you, Debbie. <laughs> Let's share a plop. How does one share over. a plop? I don't know. I don't know how you share a plop, but I'm not doing it on YouTube. Look at it. Looks like it's full caramel. Caramel? No. Because I think that's what it is. I should like it. That sucks that though they put so much of the dime bars in there. I know. And not much variety of anything else. So they come in these little squares. Is it one square or two squares? Two. Two squares. All I'm right. not waiting for you. I'm just going to get be a jerk. And... Ready? One, two. Oh, whoa. That exploded. It's so soft of a shell. Mmm. Mm. And then it'll get weird. There's an aftertaste. It doesn't really taste like caramel. It That's didn't have like much of it. No. More of a cream. Yeah. Did it say caramel or did we just make that up? I think we just made it up. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Tosh and Debbie show. Um. I think it is caramel, I think. I, like, I mean, it looks like it. I noticed the things in this box seem to have a little bit of an aftertaste to them that the other stuff does mm -hmm. not. I mean, it's that same kind of a... I mean... I don't know what it is. I'd probably go six on this one. Three. You're going three. It's that aftertaste. I don't know what mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. You know what you do to cleanse your palate on that one? <laughs> not cream. <laughs> you don't do cream. Nope, not cream. <sighs> well, you do say, damn, not cream. <laughs> that was stupid good. That's like a dream of mine. Whoever made that, genius. All right, it's time to try the words I can't pronounce. <laughs> the Swedish crisp bread. I can say that. And we're gonna try it first with, I hope you're not screaming at us, the, uh, the Swedish Fontina. Krononos, I'm sorry. That's what it said. And what's funny though on the front is it says, huh. The front it says Wisconsin, so it's interesting. And then on the back it says Swedish Fontina. Mm. So maybe it's a Wisconsin, sorry, I might have got that wrong. That is Swedish, but made in Wisconsin. I don't know, we tried our best. It's hard to, yep. they have so many cheeses. So we're gonna try these guys first and we're gonna put some butter, I think, aren't we? Yeah, let's try it with plain butter. Oh, these are huge. Well, obviously I kind of knew that. Uh, I think I'm gonna get a lot of this on the floor. Hey, these are cool. We'll clean up after. Oh, the heck. These are neat. This is like a Christmas present. How cool is that? <laughs> Can you see my eye? It's like the world's giant, most giant cookie. The record. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Don't play with your food, Natasha. How do you, do you break this? I mean, I gotta eat it like this. No, I think you just break it, hopefully. You told me to do it. I did, we'll clean up <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> we vacuum a lot after these uh, food tasting episodes. Okay, so I'm gonna do half and half. Hey, look at me, look at pie shape. You did. Totally accidental. Um, try my best here. Okay, that works. There we go. So here's your you side. You try it plain? No. Yeah, why not? Mm. About what you do expect. Yeah. Standard. I think that's gonna be really good with the butter on there and some of the cheese. Thank you, ma'am. Let me butter your bread, baby. <laughs> this is funny. I'm gonna grab the cheese. Yeah, it had to be a little cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> The cheese has been cut. Sit this down. That's the Fontina that I thought was Swedish from Sweden, but it's Swedish Fontina from Wisconsin. Does that make sense? It's a bit thick cut wise, but I think we'll get the idea. And we'll we can try this with the other stuff later too, like a cheddar. Yeah. 
This looks good. Mm-hmm. All right, let's do it. It's a nice crisp cracker. It's nice and um. I really like this. Yeah, it helps to set off the cheese and the butter. This is perfect for a charcuterie board. Mm-hmm. Do you guys do this? I don't even know what country invented charcuterie boards. Probably yours, I don't know. <laughs> this is really good. Mm-hmm. I can see why these crackers are used a lot with, um... You could use this with anything. With a lot of spreads. Mm-hmm. Is what we've seen online. Tell us what your favorite thing is to eat on top of this. What do you rate it? Um, I'm going to go with a six. I'm going to get a good seven and a half on that seven one. And a half yeah, I like good. that a lot. And that won't go to waste. There's a lot of it. I hope it keeps well. May I have a little, a little piece? I want to sure. try this a little bit on there. Uh, let us know if this is something that you guys enjoy. I even think it could be good. Let's go do this. Possibly. Don't hate me. With what? There's some jam and stuff on it. I know. I can't wait till so we open the cloudberry later so we can mix and try some different things. Mm. <coughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now I gotta try it. That's good. That's really good. I think I like it better even with that. Probably would be better. What did I rate it? Seven, seven and a half. Could have been an eight now. It's versatile. Mm hmm It is better with that. With the creamier. Mm-hmm. Not that it wasn't good with the butter. That's why I know it'll be really good with brie. Mm-hmm. Which is like my favorite. Okay, so next we have coffee that's been brewing this entire time. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's on the warmer. So it stayed nice and hot. I wanted to wait until we got to the point where we had things that don't came with the coffee and try it. So I'm gonna go grab that by the power of editing. I'll be back here in a flash. We're back and the coffee is here. So it's hot. Nice and hot. Piping hot. So we're gonna go with first, I want to do the ballerina. <laughs> Let's do the ballerina. <laughs> no way of getting around that one. It's been a lifelong dream. Just... <laughs> uh. uh oh. What are, are these? Are these? Hold on. Mm. What's in there? Hazelnut again. There you go. Look at that. You didn't even want to crack in it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Look at that. Is it like chocolate on the back and like hazelnut in the middle and then like something on it? Nice little button. We're gonna try it first by itself and then mm -hmm. rate it alone. Try it in the coffee. I don't know if you even dunk this in coffee, but I want to. We're definitely gonna do it. Like right now? Yep. Mm. I didn't get the middle part. <laughs> okay, yes. You give me the broken one, so. Oh. <laughs> Broke right down where the back of the. This is good. Mm hmm. It's like the best of both worlds, like a vanilla cookie. Mm hmm. Chocolate cookie. You're, you guys, when you do a hazelnut, you do it right. And it's not overly chocolate, which I, is what I like. Yeah, I expected a lot more than the inside, and it's not as much. And I like that. Yeah, sometimes for me, chocolate gets a little bit too much. But this is good. Rated by itself? Um, eight. Seven. What? Eight? I like it. I'm just gonna go ahead and take what little bit I have left, which I shouldn't do, because I have like my entire thing of... Of hazelnutty. Yeah. Kinda, I'm gonna go. burn my fingers. And don't Nata know if you guys do this, but... Natasha's a long dunker, so... No, but this time, I'm gonna lose <laughs> my fingers. I gotta... Oh. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I'll be back. New coffee. I'm back. I had just enough coffee left to be able to have one more mug. So if I drop something else, we got problems. <laughs> okay. You're gonna make it. Did you get yours? I did. And what do you give it? I'm going to give that. Do you like it better with a the coffee? Seven. No. 
Well, she doesn't I like really a better like plain. I'm not a big coffee drinker. I've only recently started drinking coffee. It was just a piece of the vanilla part, right. so I'm not worrying about that. I didn't have that in there that long. No, you didn't. This is like a flash dunk. Whoosh, whoosh. In and out. For me, that was short. Everybody's like, will you just stop <laughs> it? No, I'm not giving up. Flash. She did it. It's really good. Mm -hmm. It brings up the flavor. I think you coffee like brings coffee? up the flavor of a lot of things. Sometimes it does. Um, maybe I'm just not in a coffee mood tonight. I don't know. But I like the cookie by itself, so. Cookie, biscuit. Would you rate this with the coffee? I'm sorry. A seven. What did I rate it without the coffee? Do you remember? A seven. I did? Mm -hmm. Really? I think you did. It's an eight with the coffee. And mine's flopped around. <laughs> Ginger snaps with almond flavor. Because I think this will be good. Debbie's not a big ginger person. I happen to love it. Mm -mm. The stronger ginger flavor, the better. So these are very thin and very breakable, it looks like. The thinness I'm liking. I don't know if I'm gonna like the thinness. Ooh. We'll see. They're really thin. I expected a rougher texture, but it's actually kind of smooth. I'm scared to drink this one. Oh yeah. It's because, mmm. Mmm. With that almond flavoring? It's got more than just ginger, which is good. You're gonna like this one better than any of the other gingers we tried. So far, it's smoother. Not so, bam, ginger. How'd that go? Bam, ginger. <laughs> <laughs> now, I do like the spicy ginger, but this is an inter interesting change, and I like it. Very smooth. There's that hint of almond. That's really something. good. That's really, I'm scared to dunk this one. It's really thin and really, really, Flash Duncan. I'm gonna do it myself. Oh wait, what do you give it first? Um, Nine. I'm gonna go five. Okay, whatever. Here we go. Mmm. Trying to pull that out when I did. That brings up more of the almond flavor. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Yep. No. Gosh, that's good. Nine and a half. Both ways, nine and a half. Oh, and then the spice kicks in. But it's gonna get spicier. I mean, it just did a little bit for me. Not spicy, but just a little bit of the spice kicks in from the ginger. You don't find that? No, I'm still going with a five. I don't- Dabbies. I mean, I just must not be in a coffee mood tonight because- I don't think it's the coffee. I think it's just that you don't like ginger. I don't. <laughs> well, it wasn't bad, but- wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. I don't know what to expect from this one. It just says that it's a biscuit. <laughs> I know. I'm I'm expecting it to be just kind of plain. I'm gonna expect. I'm expecting bland. I am not good at opening things. Here we go. This oh. is Marie. Try not to. I don't think it's gonna have a flavor to it. Yeah, I think it's gonna be kind of plain. Hmm? Why did all mine break? Yeah, plain. It tastes exactly like you would think it would mm -hmm. just by looking at it. So, one. Just because it has no flavor. This is definitely a coffee thing or a tea thing. It's got like a hint of sweet to it. It's not just plain. I don't agree. Plain, plain. I think it just has a touch. It's the smallest touch I can't taste. Mm -hmm. Being honest. So I'll go with that one. Um, I'll go four. I mean, it's just kind of like mm. you want to eat something. The coffee is not enhancing anything for me. One. Mm. I wouldn't eat them again. I wouldn't do it with a coffee. It just doesn't have any flavor. Mm -hmm. um, maybe it's better in tea. It probably is. But we're not tea drinkers, so I wouldn't even try it. I think it would be better, thanks. <laughs> a little messy eater. I think we are into, is it time for that? Or is it time for the... For the what? For the glog. The glog's last. Okay, we're gonna do I'm that one last. I'm also scared of the glog, but I think it's gonna be a strong flavor. And I don't want it to affect uh, Anything else we're eating? Especially, I want the cloudberries. I've waited long enough, man. What are we trying it on first? A spoon. You wanna do it that way? Plain. Really? Yeah. 
And then... It's supposed to be warm on the ice cream. We're going to try it with ice cream, too. And then I think... <clears throat> with me. Plain, <laughs> plain. I don't have a spoon. I don't either. So, we can't. I'm going to do this because I didn't bring a spoon in. Oh, that's thick. Well, that's probably like a lot. This is like that. That right there is like like ten bucks. <laughs> <laughs> got it. That's pretty orangish. Do not drop. Oh, you make me feel like an idiot because you, you take All such right. little of baby bites I'm and I just giant. I can't wait. Much All right, let's go. Mmm. Hmm. Where are you going? Nowhere. Get back here. Nope. Mm. Where have you been all my life? That Blackberry? is really, really cloudy. <laughs> Very. Very. I really like this. Mmm. That's like dessert. Oh, I can mm -hmm. see why you put that on ice cream. Mm-hmm. I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab some ice cream. We gotta warm this up, right? Mm-hmm. We'll be right back. Okay, so we had looked online. I'm like, how do you do this? And it said to warm it up. So hopefully this is right. And the pictures we saw, the ice cream mm -hmm. on top. So how's that look? Tell us if this is right. If it's wrong, we're sorry. We're trying. It looks fabulous to me. We don't have any Swedish friends yet to help us, but this is, ice cream is melting as we speak. So it's a bit warm on the bottom. Um, so, okay, Debbie's just like, give it to me. Ooh. It's ice cream, gotta get it. This is like making me feel like I'm about to have one of the best things in my life. Mm -hmm. I'm taking more cloud berries than I am ice cream. Hey, wow! Oh, come on! <laughs> mm. Oh my god. This may sound weird. That tastes like peach pie with ice cream. Kind of, yeah. This is immaculate. This is amazing. Sweden, I, like I love you. Speechless. I love it. This is probably my new favorite. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, My new favorite. So, um, get ready to buy some more. This is expensive, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. What did it, what? If you have never had cloudberries, get some. And we didn't buy like the whole- I send you to the clouds. We didn't buy the the Ikea version. Don't know if it's good or not. We bought the really expensive version that we found. We left it in the kitchen. No. I'm like sitting here like, where is that? Look at us fighting over this. <laughs> Come on, it's lady. Hard. <laughs> lady. Hey, hey you hey, lady. <laughs> I'll give it a name. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, like ice cream. Can I bathe in this? No. No want me to left for you, babe, and you're back here with my plate. Oh, your plate. <laughs> Our plate, darling. Mm hmm You've had more than I have. Our plate. <laughs> you, did you see that? Could you see that? I had it on my spoon. She took it out of my spoon. <laughs> and put it over. I have nothing. Ooh, don't make that noise. I have nothing left. Debbie, come on, share a little bit. Too <laughs> many ice cream more. I don't care about the ice cream. The combination, though, mm -hmm. it tastes like, like, it does peach kind of like pie a peach. filling with the I, ice cream. It's just really smooth, and the cr the ice mm. cream as it's melting, mm. it's amazing. Love it. Some coffee oh. after that. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. I went 100. That's my rating. That is so mm -hmm. good. Sweden, this is to you. Mm hmm. I know Norway grows it too. I don't know who else does. Um, like I said, I know that we looked it up and I saw Alaska and New Hampshire. Yes. Um, here in the States. Um, but they're not easy. They like don't grow for long, I guess, and they're not. Oh, it doesn't matter. They're good. Fabulous. I, I'm definitely coffee. going for a 10, 12. 12. 
Very and when I was looking help. it up too, you can make all different kinds of things with cloudberries, um, all of which we will never be able to afford. <laughs> We're not done? No, nope, we've got one more thing to do. Glog. Now again, non-alcoholic version, and I explained at the beginning of the video why. But like I said, we did um, hear you in the comments the last video. Mm -hmm. We got some almonds, some raisins, mm -hmm. and we're going to go warm this up. Yes. Do it in the microwave. Yeah. We got yelled at, like, don't do it in the mm -hmm. microwave. So with the power of editing, it'll be a moment for you. But for us, it says warm in a crock pot and shake before using. Yeah, we'll just do it on the stovetop. We'll do it on the stovetop and we'll be back in a flash. Okay, so we might have not gauged it perfectly as far as how much to put in a glass, but I think for tasting purposes, we did all right. I think we have enough to taste. We have almonds. And raisins. I don't see the raisins, obviously, because the same color. They soak down there. I'm not gonna lie, it smells like Christmas in here. It does. And we know that that's what we were told that this is kind of like a Christmas drink. Mm hmm. Definitely smell the clove to it. Ooh, I don't think I'm gonna like this, guys. I'm just gonna be honest <laughs> with you. <laughs> and I'm not a fan of warm drinks, so do not be offended. Like I said earlier, I've only recently started. It smells like potpourri. Drinking coffee. It smells like potpourri. Mm hmm. I mean, it smells, I, I definitely smell the clove because I remember I like being a little girl smell. putting the clove in the hams for my mom. Clove in hams? Yeah. Never heard of that. We live different lives, you and I. We did. My mom loved potpourri all over the house, so <laughs> I'm like, mm. <laughs> um, I'm scared. It's warm, hence the condensation. Um, when we bought this, I'm stringing this out for a moment. I told Debbie, I'm like, your face when you drink this. She's like, I'm already making the face thinking about mm -hmm. it. It was funny. Okay, again, please don't get mad at us for being honest people. What Every fun would this be if we just said, hey, everything's great. <laughs> right. <laughs> Everything sucks, you know? We're going to be honest. Mm. Cheers to Glog. Sweden, Glog. We, like, we like cloudberries, don't forget. Love cloudberries. Do it, do it. Not as bad as I thought. It Agreed. smells worse. Agree. It's, I just have a potpourri issue. You do, and they usually stick clove in potpourri. <laughs> it's, it is like drinking Christmas. <laughs> yeah. See, I prefer eggnog. Lovely. I'm an eggnog, eggnog girl. But yeah, if you could taste Christmas, yeah, that's odd. It would be Christmas in a glass. I mean, winter beverage. Yeah. I would yeah. not drink this in the summer. That'd be weird. Oh, no. Heat and serve. And especially warm. Huh. This it, is it, not bad. I agree. I have to say it is not at all what I thought it was going to be. I thought for sure my face was going to be twisted into all kinds of Yeah, I did too. And I was looking nastiness. forward to it. <laughs> I was looking forward to that part. Oh, that's strong. That second one. A little spicy there. It's a little spice in the back of the throat. It tastes like Christmas. I'm kind of like, I'm going to say I'd never drink it. But I would at the totally same drink time, this while putting the tray up. But at the same time, I'm like, but it's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I drink eggnog when we put our tree up. Yeah. I would have both. I'd have my eggnog on the side. I would drink this with you putting up the Christmas tree. I know. She doesn't drink anything. Even me. warm. Are you lying to me? No. Cheers, Sweden. I know. That's a big deal. She hates warm drinks. She, making her drink coffee, essentially. You know, something to dip. What do you give it? Into. I give this, uh, oddly enough, this is a high rating for me for something like this. I gotta taste it again. I give sure. it a six and a half. That's a high rating for me for something like this. But I don't know. I think I could incorporate this into our Christmas tree tradition. But I'm still having my eggnog. My eggnog is number number one. I'm gonna have to go with you on the six. Mm -mm. Now. I said six and a half. It's growing on me. Every time I drink it, it's better. The the pictures, I had I had seen some pictures because we just want to know what kind of glass to serve this in. Had like orange rinds in it, orange slices in it. Yeah. I think that would be good in here. Do you do that now? In the comments, all, a lot of you told us to put the almonds and the raisins in. Mm -hmm. And I like this. I was scared. But of I that. might just add the orange to it. I kept saying I was gonna choke on an almond. Yeah, the orange yeah, I think would be good that. too. Yeah, I think it would, and even maybe some of those. Maybe. Don't overdo it. <laughs> what are you thinking? Now? You let us know how, how, how to do it. This was great. I'm so glad that we got to try all these foods. Me too. I Did mean, you... we would have never had this glog. We would have never had cloudberries. Wouldn't have tried any of these. Thank you, Sweden. 
And if you liked this video, please hit that like button, share with us with a friend on social media, consider subscribing to our channel. We'd really appreciate it and it helps us out a lot too. Absolutely. Um, and also consider coming over to our Facebook page. Yes, please. That way we can chat a little bit more. This is so weird. <laughs> I'm so confused. She's fascinated. I'm just confused. I'm confused too. I really didn't think I was going to like that. I'm taking baby sips because I don't want to swallow an mm -hmm. almond and, and choke to death. Good point. I that helps you that. go slow. It does. <laughs> anyway, sorry. I had fun with this. Always do with these types of videos. There was nothing I hated. That's unusual. That's the first time. Is mm. that the first time I didn't hate something? I didn't like these. I didn't hate them. Just boring to me. No offense. I hope fine. no one takes offense to that. Just no flavor mm -hmm. for me. Now again, I like Debbie said he tried put some other stuff on it. Sure, dress it up a little bit, but cream cheese and cranberry. Okay, never mind. That would work. <laughs> That'd work fine. <laughs> That'd dress it up. Just anything with cloudberry. But no, um, my favorite thing, cloudberry, hundred percent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's I'm kind have of to go a self-explanatory. Absolutely. Don't mind me. I always get my crumbs off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would definitely say cloudberry. I loved everything else. Loved all the chocolates. Yeah. Don't really care for your oh, you're not cream. We were talking about this when we were <laughs> warming up the glog, and I'm like, you really not like this? And she's like. Not so much. It's not my thing. And then I got sad because they're both open and I don't really... Now I'm full and I don't want to eat anything. So I'm going to try to put it in a container and store it for later. Yep. But um, let us know of the things we had here today. Um, what's your favorite? Mm -hmm. What's your least favorite? I'd love to know. Um, did we do anything wrong? Again, we had no help here. Just None. a little bit of looking stuff up online. So we did the best we could with no knowledge. So hopefully we didn't offend anyone too, like I said, with our honesty. But... I think it's offensive to not be honest. Exactly. So why do a review if you're not going to, yeah. or, you know, a reaction? If you're going to be honest about it. Not everybody silly. likes everything all the time. So. No. And we differ, obviously, on our own stuff. So we, we sure hope did. you guys enjoyed this episode. Again, thank you so much for watching. We'll be back next time with another episode of The Natasha Debbie Show. And so then, as always, please love like jazz. Be as strong as Tyson. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.